halfway through our course, stay strong. Let's finish this race. These are short two minute sessions designed to solve real problems rather than just wander through syntax guides. In this session, we're gonna learn about dynamic windows. But first, let's do a quick recap on what we touched on in the last video. We looked at handling nulls and windows and the example we had was we ran last value of department number from our external employees table and we could see that last value didn't roll the values down the screen for the department number column as we expected and that's because of the presence of nulls in there. But last value, first value and nth value functions that we've all seen in the past have the ignore nulls extension to their clause. That lets you keep non-null values included in the last value syntax and that's how we used it to fill in the blanks in the last session. In this session we're going to talk about dynamic windows where the boundary points of the windows are actually defined at runtime dynamically on input data. Let's look at today's requirement and how we explain how this is going to be working. Someone says to us, I need the total sales from the previous close of business day, which we only do on weekdays. So let's do that in a bit of a diagram to see how we're going to explain this. So here we have our weekly diary and what happens is we run a small storefront and each Monday to Friday when we have the manager in the office, he runs a close of books process. So on Friday, he needs to get all the sales from the last time he closed off the books, which is Thursday, one day ago. On Thursday, he needs to get all the sales from the previous day, which is Wednesday. However, he doesn't work Saturday. And so on Sunday, he needs all the sales, not just from Saturday, but from Friday as well, because that's the last time he closed off the books, if he was going to do a close of books on Sunday. If he was doing a close of books on Monday, which is more likely, he will need to actually get the sales not just from Monday, but from the previous Sunday and the previous Saturday. Let's look at the raw data. What we'll do with our raw data is we'll use the pre-supplied S8 schema, which you can find in LiveSQL on the sales table. And what we've done is we've taken all the data and rolled it up into one row per day. We've got the amount sold per day from 1998 all the way through to 2001. Using that now, we're going to build up our analytic function. But first, we're going to do a dynamic window. To do a dynamic window, we need to make some decisions in real time as to how far back to look. Whether we look back one day for close of books, two days for close of books, or three days. So let's build a PL SQL function to do that. We're going to call it the last close day. And we can see that on a Sunday, we need to look back two days, as we saw in the previous diagram. On a Monday, we need to look back three days. But for all other days, the close of books is going to be just one day beforehand. So we need to take the incoming date, the close date, and dynamically work out how far to look back. Let's now plug that into our analytic function. We're summing up how many sales we had per day. We don't need a partition clause because we're using the whole table. The sorting clauses, we're going to order by time ID, the date of the sale. And the windowing clause is where we can use our newly created PL SQL function. We're going to range between the last closed PL SQL function call, passing in time ID, and the current row, or zero following. But you can see the window is now dynamic. It's not set in the syntax, it will dynamically change depending on what the last closed function returns when we pass it in the time ID. Here's our query we had before showing the sales per day. We're gonna wrap that in an inline view and plug in our analytic function, and there's the result. What we have is the close of books total that dynamically changes its window. And you can see there, for example, on the Monday, on the 5th of January, the total was quite large because it included the sales from the previous Sunday and Saturday and Friday. You can run these scripts yourself by clicking on the live SQL link below. In the next session, well, so far you've seen that almost every analytic function includes the word over. And over suggests that we're looking over the rows. So we're gonna talk about lag and lead. Thanks very much for watching, and don't forget to keep it simple with SQL. We'll see you all again soon.